What's going on guys, big welcome to you all to our channel, we are Team Crushing the Meta. Today are you with D-Boy and we are back with another video. This time we will do another video on the... Yes, you got it. Of course, it's the Spike Brother reveals from the Volume 2 box. So we now know the cards for sure because we have made a video in the past and we didn't know if the cards were real or not. As you see right here, this is the video that I'm talking about where I say real fake Dudley reveals because we had a leak and we were not 100% sure that it was correct, but they are. And now it's time to talk about that. So if you haven't seen all the other videos that we posted on the channel about the clan selection plus volume one and volume two, you could check them out. All the links will be in the description section below, but you pretty much could also go into our channel and check all of the videos out if you like. We're doing also daily content now, so that's amazing that you guys could enjoy all of these videos all right so let's go into this video this would be a longer video than we normally do because this is spike and i will take the time to talk about it i will not go too much into detail which i will split into separate videos where i will talk about the dudley deck in standard and the dudley deck in premium but in this video i will talk a lot about how to use these cards in the separate decks that we have right now and not talk too much about the dudley deck on its own because there will be some testing, lots of testing, especially for premium to come out with the perfect uh, or the best that I could come up with on the uh, deck list. So there will be a separate deck profile for that, for Deadly in premium and Deadly in standards. In this video will pretty much talk about that a little bit, but we'll talk more about um, the uses of these cards in the current rising deck, because that's one of the biggest questions that you guys have is, could we use these cards in Rising or do we have to make a separate uh, deck to, to use them? Alright, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video, let us know in the comment section below, whatever you want to know. Just ask if you have lots of questions and if you have something that you really want to tell us, we'll be more than happy to read your comments. We really are enjoying the, the, the comments that you put from uh, the latest few videos you guys have put a long comment and I really love to read that and enjoy it especially when we talk about the um, the Vanguard overdress then you guys have lots uh, of thoughts that you want to give to us all right so this video as I said will take too long so you could pause the video right here to get something to drink something to eat if not you could continue all right so we have of course Dudley Lucifer as in the grade 3 we have Dudley Davy as in the grade 2 and then we have the great one, which is Dudley William. And then we follow the Bracky, the Commander Gary Cannon, the Wonder Boy, and the Perfect Guard. Okay, now let's talk about the reprints first. So as we said before, the Perfect Guards are always welcome. Although we have now a double rare, a triple rare, and SP, we are okay of having these again, especially for people who want to build a deck on its own. So let's say they're trying to build a Dudley deck and they don't have anything from Spike, then these cards are easy to get right now because they are in these boxes so that's pretty cool for her a wonder boy and bracky are two cards that we really use a lot in lots of our decks me i have lots of brackies but still sometime when i want to build a new deck i found myself needing more brackies so a bracky is always a good reprint and one of the reasons why it's also very good is that bracky deserves to be more than a rare and the Foiling on these new cards is really good, really nice. So definitely Bracky will be one of the cards that I will be very happy to see in triple rare foiling. And the same goes for Wonder Boy. Another card that we really use a lot is premium and it's standard, and it's definitely a card that should have been more than a rare. The same as Bracky. And these cards coming back in beautiful foiling as triple rare is really amazing if we don't use wonder boy then pretty much me myself i use wonder boy or commander gary cannon on my current rising deck and i switch between the two but again this right here is also perfect one of the cards that we also use a lot which is just a rare which deserve to be more than just a rare so that's it for these cards they pretty much gave us a beautiful foiling but all of these cards are not expensive maybe the wonder boy and the bracky are a little bit hard to get but again they are pretty okay and these cards will fit perfectly into any spike with the deck that you want to build if it's dudley or it's not 
So Commander Gary Cannon is definitely a smart choice when, when it comes to reprinting cards. Alright, so now we have these cards and we will talk about them. Davy, William, and Lucifer. And we will start with Lucifer right away as in the boss monster. First, I will read his ability. The ability is the same as the one that we had from the leagues. So if you know that, you skip this part if you want to. But pretty much, his first ability is an auto ability on rare guard. When placed by your card ability, you soul blast one to counter charge one. The second ability is an auto ability on Fengard when attacks. Counter plus one, put a rare guard into your soul. Draw a card, call up to one card from your hand with deadly in its card name. And if your opponent Fengard is chilling on grade three, you pretty much will be able to give that unit an extra 10k. Okay, how does this look like when it comes to the old Lucifer? Let's check it out because we have the original one right here and uh, we could see right away. So we have the old Lucifer right here and he has the Limit Break 4 ability which said choose one of your cards, one of your regards and put it into your soul at the end of the battle that this unit attack the thing guard. You may pay the cost if you do choose up to one card from your hand and call it to regard. If this unit was a Dudley, it gets an extra 10k. So it's very similar to the new one. The new one costs a counter blast, this one doesn't. The new one requires you to call a Dudley card, this one doesn't. And this one gives the unit extra 10k if what you called is a Dudley. The only big difference right here, or the only downside to this card is of course it's a limit break 4, but pretty much they actually nerfed him if you really look close to the card because Yes, of course, it doesn't have the first ability, but when we're talking just about the second ability, then the old ability is actually better. It doesn't cost a counter blast, it still costs you to put a rare guard into your soul, which is a good thing. Um, and again, it could call anything you have in your hand, and if it was a Dudley, it gets the extra 10k. Well, the new card, of course, could only call Dudley, so if you don't have Dudleys, then that ability does not work. But what do we have here is the ability that they gave it, which is the first ability, which is when superior called, this unit could, you could put uh, or pay the soul blast to get the counter charge. All right, so we talk about in general about this card. This card has lots of nerfs. Uh, they nerf it on the first ability, which you could have gotten the counter charge without paying the soul blast. That's that that would still have been fair because its ability only works when it's called and when it's superior called. So it's not a once per turn ability, it's when superior called, which means that it's already, you have to do something to get it up. If you have it in your hand, then that ability doesn't work, except if you superior called from your hand, which is now possible because it's a deadly card and you get superior called by itself. So drawing into this is definitely not bad because you could call it on the field, use it with rising, and you could ride into it if you're playing the deadly deck, and you could also just keep it in your hand when you attack, you activate this ability to call it from your hand. So that works as well. And then we of course have the second ability that we talked about, which costs the counter blast to call something from your hand. So how does this card fit into its own deck and how does it fit into the rising deck? If we're talking about rising, then this card fits perfectly, but what you need to do right here is you need to play three or four copies of him and you need to play more Dudley cards because if you don't, you don't get that consistency of getting enough Dudleys to your hand to be able to use his ability. So that will up the number of um, Dudleys that we have <clears throat> and talking about deck building, that will also maybe cut out the Juggernaut because I, I see people or I see even myself playing for Rising, for Lucifer, for Bull Spike, and that's your grade 3 lineup right there. You need that big attacker, which you normally have with Juggernaut, but that's when you use the skill of Cyclone to restand the Juggernaut, and then you have lots of use for it. But now, because that is not really necessary, you don't really need it. When it comes to the grade 2, I'll also talk about the other builds that you could do because one of my good friends on Facebook have also showed me what you could do with this and the Juggernauts because with um, Davy, of course, you could also use the ability of Davy, which I read right now, which is the first ability when placed finger or rare guard, you counter plus one and you search your deck for up to one card, 
Dudley in Scarred Name, non grade 2, so you could not call himself, and then you were able to call that the regular circle shuffle your deck. That ability actually could get you the, uh, the Dudley Lucifer, and if you have the Dudley Lucifer, you could call something from your hand, which is, of course, the, uh, the grade 1 that we had in our last sets, which could target one of your grade 3s, put it into your soul. And then you call two more great threes. And with that, you actually use only one counter blast to get two juggernauts on the field. And the one that I'm talking about is. You, you don't know? You don't know which great one that is? You do need to know. <laughs> Alright, so Dudley Davy right here. Again, two abilities. The first one on Blades, Finger, and Regard. And second one is only on Regard. When. A force marker gets into the regard circle that this unit is chilling on, you get the soul charge one. This is a very good ability, especially with bull spike, because with this you get you could just move your markers and you get actually the soul charge one. So you benefit from you moving the markers and you get the extra soul to move it again. So it does cost your card from your deck, of course, because you have to soul charge from your deck, but that's okay because you do make soul and in this deck you don't really deck out that fast so again that's a really really good ability the second one although it's once per turn but that's more than enough to get you that extra soul that you need especially because the first ability of lucifer uses soul and that's not good okay so what's the big combo that you do right here so pretty much you have your field right you have your rising your rising have targeted two cards which in this case are the uh, bull spike and the deadly lucifer so you have rising targeting these two lucifer and bull spike and from that moment on you attack with your both rare guards and then you attack with your vanguard which is rising right here you activate the skill of uh, bull spike first on the other attacks if both attacks or one of the attacks did not hit because you have force two also moving around definitely they will guard at least one of them and then you get to draw one so you already have an extra card in your hand if you don't already have a Dudley in your hand then what you do is you activate the skill of the Dudley Lucifer so you eat up one of your regards you pay one counter blast and then you get to call something from your hand the unit that you want to call is actually the Dudley Davy because the Dudley Davy right here when you get it to the field you counter blast one more and then you get to get the ability of the Dudley. You call it Dudley Lucifer. And with that, you have two more attackers. So you normally with the Rising, you have the four attacks, right? Because you restand one with the ability of Seafried or with the ability of Cyclone. Cyclone, Spiking Cyclone is actually the card that we will be uh, comparing this card to. But with that, you have four attacks. We are not talking about the promo. You just just have four attacks but with him if you use it to call the Davy, you pretty much could have five attacks and you would have the soul because the moment that you move the markers to Davy, you will get the extra soul to move the markers again to your last attacker which is in this case a grade three pretty much because again why not and this guy's at a 13k and he could give you the counter charge what's the problem with this the problem right here is that you do need the counter blast of two, which is sometimes a lot to ask from the deck because he costs the counter blast and this costs the counter blast. But if you have used Davy's ability in the early game to call this to the field and not the bull spike, then you pretty much could soul blast to get the counter charge back that you will need later on. But then you will have the problem of not having enough soul. So you do need cards like Wonder Boy, like Bracky to give you some soul or Commander Gary Cannon. Talking about soul, of course, we have the last card, which is Dudley William. Dudley William has also two abilities. The first one is an auto ability at the end of the battle that it boosts. You put this unit into your soul and you choose one of your units and you move all the force markers to it. That ability is insane good because it gives you two soul. One, it moves the marker with it going into the soul. Sure, I don't mind. I like my back row being empty. And the second thing is that it actually gives you the extra soul. So with him, you could move the markers twice. So this card 
fits very, 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 very well in this deck, especially we're talking about the Rising deck, but also in the Dudley deck, because in the Dudley deck, you don't have the ability to move markers because you don't have Wolf Spike. But with this card, you definitely will be able to move the markers. Then we have the second ability where Road Upon, you may call this to Ragard. This costs you soul, but it gives you an early Ragard to attack with or to boost with. But because later on, he could pretty much go back to the soul, the ability is really fine. And it said when Road Upon, you may call this card to Ragard, so it's up to you to do it or not. It's not mandatory. So that's definitely a very, very, very interesting ability. Now let's talk about the art a little bit. Dudley William right here is definitely an amazing art. I think that some people thought that it was a girl. I think it's a boy, even from the name William. I think it should be. Um, the colors of the armors, beautiful. The silver coloring with purple, very good together. He's trying to kick the ball, which doesn't really come that often in... Um, in the spike brother art and he has beautiful wings which are a little bit of blue and purple in it again you can see the uh, the stadium behind him looking good and uh, very beautiful art definitely want to see this in the triple art foiling uh, we talk about Davy right here i accept, uh, expected Davy to be a girl but not it's a boy what we see right here is we see two other people on the art as well who are trying to get the ball so it's an opponent of spike brothers which is interesting to see. We don't really see that that often uh, when it comes to the art of Spikers. We do see some people like a shadow behind them, um, but we don't really see a clear art of the opponent. So this is also pretty interesting. He's a receiver, I see. Uh, I assume because he's receiving the ball. Uh, interesting art, very deadly like. Uh, a little bit more deadly like than and then this card. So, uh, so that's good. This is what I expected the Dudley art to look like. Another card that I definitely will be more than happy to see in the triple art foiling. Then we have the Dudley Lucifer art. I'm a big fan of this art. I really like it. Uh, the text is not that much. So when we have this in SP, this would look beautiful. I'm very, very, very happy to have this card in SP. And I'm also very happy that this card actually could replace the Spiking Cyclone because it was just one of the few cards, or one actually the only grade three in the deck, which is not an original rare or an SP or an SVR or something. So it was just chilling right there. All right, so now let's talk about the fact that you could build a deck, which is a Dudley, and you could also build a Rising deck, right? So there are two different decks that you could build now in 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 Spike Wars, in uh, in V with with these upcoming cards. I think that the, when we talk about V, we talk about the current standards. Um, do you have the Dudley deck? But it's not necessary to, to have the Dudley deck because the Dudley deck is very close to the Rising deck. I think what we will have is we will have a Rising deck with the Dudley stuff and a Rising deck without the Dudley stuff. But the Dudley V deck will actually play Rising because it doesn't really have another grade 3 that you want to go into. Because you could play stuff like Juggernaut, yes, and that would be interesting and fun, and there will be a whole, like, just a rush deck right away, but it would not be as strong as the Rising deck. So, in my opinion, we will have two Rising decks. We will have the current Rising deck that you could use Spiking Cyclone or any other different grade 3s like uh, Seafreed, but pretty much we use Spike and Cyclone. And that deck doesn't really have to be the Dudley cards. And then we have a second deck which plays the Dudley cards and then that will add Davy in it, as well as the Dudley Lucifer, because those cards are the cards that work together. Pretty much when we talk about William right here, you could add him in any Spike Rider deck and this card would still be very good. It gives you early game and later on in the game he could give you the extra soul. He also gives us the opportunity to not only go for um, the Wolf Spike, you could actually use this with Spiking Cyclone and uh, Seafried. You could just build Spiking Cyclone Seafried deck and you could just use this card with it to move the markers because you get to move the markers anyway with this ability and because you already restand something with the spiking cyclone it's real good so that's amazing you could even 
use two spiking cyclone with the skill of rising you attack with both rare guards let's say both juggernauts you have on the field attack with them and then attack with the fang guard and then um you could just move the markers with this of course after you use the ability of the spiking cyclone to resend both rare guards and then you attack with the rare guard that all the markers are on and then at the end of the battle this goes to the soul move the markers to the other side and attack again so with that you will have three attacks with markers and three attacks without markers no two attacks without markers yes because you have your finger attack and the rare guard who didn't have the markers at the first wave of attacks Okay, so pretty much I'm very happy with this as the support for Spike. I see lots of combinations right here and I do see lots of good deck building that you could bake the deck with. Uh, I do see a Dudley deck coming up, so I will make a deck profile for you guys on how that deck looks like um, and what cards you play. And I'm very, very, very excited for this. When it comes to premium, uh, what people are excited to see is a Dudley, pure Dudley premium deck. Because when we talk about this card in the Rising deck or in the GB8 build or in the uh, um, Acro build, then this card doesn't really bring that much to the table because yes, when it's called, you get to counter charge one by soul blasting one, but the soul is important to keep in that deck, especially if you're talking about the uh, uses of Violence Ace as in the second ability, first ability, you could use this with Violence Ace second ability because that does need a counter blast. But pretty much we focus on Formios as Formios need a soul. And this card uses soul, so that doesn't really work that much. But in a Dudley deck by its own, this is really good. Why? Because it is, has the Dudley in its card name. It could give you a counter charge, which is good, but also it gives markers. So will this make a very strong Dudley deck in premium? I don't know about if it would be very strong, but it definitely will be lots of fun to use because we could use Dudley Geronimo, we could use lots of our, our old Dudley cards and they will still be good. But some cards are a little bit outdated. I mean, Turbo Raptor is still good, but cards like Jessica were very good back in the days because she could also become a 13k. But basically your fingers nowadays are 13k. So that doesn't really make that big of a difference, but I would definitely make a deck profile for you guys about that deck. I also have made a deck profile about the Rising with the Legion, with the Ogle, so you will see that one coming up also very soon. And that's actually it for this video. I'm just, I printed the cards, I'm very excited to just test with them a little bit, and I, I think that very, very soon, especially, I think next week, I will have a deck profile for you guys coming up with the Rising Dudley deck. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Thank you for tuning in on our channel. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, commenting and liking the videos and for enjoying this long ass video. And we'll hope to see you in the next video. Till next time.